whatever should the National Assembly is that the CBN governor should be properly scrutinized. This goes beyond the issue of redesigning of the Naira or limiting withdrawals or the new cash policies. Let us not forget that these policies became an afterthought of the CBN government to put on the toga of transparency and advocating for fiscal prudence. Tell the speaker that they should not allow me to question the deputy CBN governor because I came with my documents because all the questions they are questioning her they didn't question her what is supposed to ask her about the economic of the country. The CBN, they are hidden monies in different accounts, which is the money is enough to solve the nation debt, local and the international, to pound the budget without borrowing, and to even add our poor reserve. So that is why they're supposed to ask her that question. What is that money are? I'm sure media, you see, we've released some document through the point blank. We released 29 accounts, account names and number, where the 70 trillion is there. If somebody say that money, there is no that money. In, the money is more than 70 trillion or 80 trillion we are mentioning. But why the leadership refused to allow me to talk, to ask her a question? That is question number one. Only after he was invited by the Department of State Services. A policy that came up overnight. Overnight. Without even consultation with the Minister of Finance. Without even putting heads together with anybody. Of course, we know the independence of the CBN. But even in the midst of this independence, there should be some basic consultations that should have been made. We do not begrudge the policy. We even want more fiscal transparency. But do not hide behind the finger. Do not play the ostrich. These are two different legs of a wheel. If you are pushing for fiscal transparency, also present yourself for fiscal scrutiny. Nobody says do not go ahead with the redesign of the Naira notes. The Naira notes have been redesigned. We are okay from the Youth Council. Anybody who has their problems should go and speak. It's a free world, it's a free country, you must advocate and your voice should be heard. But our cause for shouting at this point is that there is a weighty allegation of treasonable proportion against Mr. Godwin Enefiele, the current governor of CBN. I don't know. I don't know why. Which question do you really want to ask the CBN governor? Let Nigerians know. I want to ask the deputy CBN governor that money hidden in different account in the CVN that is enough to solve the nation debt national and international why they refuse to open stamp duty central account to move that money to settle the nation debt to fund our budget without borrowing this is what I want to ask her that money in different account hidden in the CVN if you can see Mont, Mont, uh, point blank, they released 29 accounts with the names, with the money of 70 trillion. Is anybody came and, and challenged them that that account number is like? So this, it means the 70 trillion is there hidden in different accounts, in different commercial banks, including the CVN, but under watch and control of the CVN. So that is why I want to ask her. Why are they appear to open stamp duty central account? Secondly, why MAP run away? Why did the CBN governor run away and refuse to come back and send her? I know be how we invite. We invite the CBN governor. He ran away. He's on the run away. Should he still be presiding over the Central Bank of Nigeria? It is a solid no. We want to call on the Department of State Services to unleash all of its powers in partnership with Interpol, the government of UK and any other government, wherever Mr. Gordon Emetriele is, he should be arrested since he has not presented himself and he should be made to answer to these questions. These are simple, salient and direct questions that should be answered. We should know 
If the president approved funds for the Nigerian youth, where did it go to? Just the other day, we talked about billions of naira frittered away and bethled or stolen by the SY managing director of NISA. So these are issues in the midst of poverty, where Nigeria, with the vision Mr. President has, should have moved far forward. We've achieved a lot, progress has been made, but the challenges are still there. Now, with all of the things, these challenges would automatically have had been faced out. But we still grapple with most of it. Because one individual and his cartel have chosen to hoodwink Nigerians, pull a smoke screen over our hearts, and desperately trying to pull a wool over the eyes of Mr. President. We want to call on the National Assembly. You are representatives of the people. Rise up to the occasion, probe Mr. Godwin Emeshele properly, and in line with the CBN Act, he should be removed by two-thirds majority of the National Assembly. That is why we decide to, to arrest him because already he's on bail and uh, we are not satisfied with the way he is doing. And uh, I want you media to tell Nigerians today, the DSS, they went to court. Some prominent people in this government went to prostrate the court and tell the court they should not allow to give DSS the detention, 60 days detention order of MAPLA because the DSS has a proof. They see some accounts where MAPLA is giving loan to terror terrorists. They have proof that he is funding terrorism. He gives loans to terrorists wh what whom they buy guns and terrorizing the country. So that is why they charge him, they charge him as terrorism financer. Then you have deprived them of access to arms, ammunition, small and light weapons, whatever they need to do. Do not forget that the Department of State Services is a secret police that does its work thoroughly. An organization that has a global reputation. Then we have a situation that the DSS invited the governor of the CBN, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, to answer to some questions. If you don't have a link to this, why are you running? And the next thing we saw was a deluge of organizations coming out to cast aspersions on a sacred institution as the Department of State Services. An institution that is reckoned with globally, particularly under the current leadership. It's not an issue of politics, it's an issue of economic. We are not fighting CPM Gomu. We are not pursuing CPM Gomu. We he didn't block anything for us. But our investigation shows that the money we are borrowing, we have money. We are borrowing government, government money. We have money to solve all the nation debt. We have international and local. And we have money to fund our budget without borrowing. Why the Khan are trying to make this thing politics? That is what is surprising me. People are trying to go and tell the president lie. They are trying to tell the president lie. We supposed to be, I supposed to be supported by the Khan. I supposed to be supported as Nigerian people are supporting this issue. Let allowed us to enter CBN and see those account if we are lie. In the next one month, we will settle the nation debt, and we will. We will call the journalists and tell them we recover not 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. You are going to answer this question. There is nobody stronger than the president. What happened is the president believed in paper and the reality. I am the only person.
that will go and brief the president my report, my committee report. What I see, what is there hidden, they block me. Are you the only one in the committee? I am. I am not the only one. So but why is I, that you are the only one? I am. The, I am the secretary to the committee. All the documents are with me, oh. and the president directed me to go and brief him in weekly basis. Honorable, I know you are the meeting with Mr. President. My advice to president is: he should call me as he approved this committee between me and him. He should call me and ask me the report of this committee. This is my advice. Let the president call me. Why are they blocking me to see the president? Let the president, you media, let you send the message to reach the president. Let the president invite me. Let the president call me. I am sure if the president call me, I will tell him what he will never allow these people to continue running this government in a rubbish way. Finally, Honorable, are we sure that this is not... My issue will not be swept under the carpet because I am sure even this government, they didn't allow this thing to continue. Any man, anybody that emerged as a president in this country, he must invite me, he must support this committee to continue because it's the only way to sustain this nation without borrowing. Thank you, Thank you. Honorable Gudadi Kazore, finally, many scholars, many Nigerians are praying for you. Have you noticed what they are doing for you? Yeah, I have noticed many people, Muslim, Christian, they are praying for me because they are a good patriotics. They are looking for the success of this country. They know I am fighting not for myself, not for my family. I am fighting for the country. There are some people, if you can remember, they go and print. I saw it in the media, but I don't know whether you saw it. They say I am doing it for the benefit of commission. The government will give me commission after the project. That is why I am doing it. So that you will be very wealthy. Very that wealthy. is what he said. I am not doing it for the commission. I am not doing it for the commission. And if we finish the job, when government give you commission, it's a legitimate and halal and genuine if they give you. But I am not after that. I am after Nigeria. All what I am doing in the house before this matter that I am fighting for the common man. So that time I'm expecting somebody to pay me. So I I my I am sending my 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 greetings, my appreciation to the scholars, to the malams and everybody that they are praying for for me. And God is protecting me because He's answering their prayers. Because they were cheated by those people. So if they, 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 they pray, God will answer. And God protected me. So send you press, send my appreciation to all Nigerians that are praying for me. May Allah help us. May Allah guide us to the right way. May Allah give us opportunity to recover all this money to solve Nigerian problem. So that Nigeria will come back into its normal sense. Thank you very much, Honorable Muhammad Kudaji Kazori. Until next time, when we get opportunity, we are going to interview you. Anytime I am ready, whether in the night, in the morning, in the evening, I am ready for the press. And no, did 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 him. Hey, no, nothing. Uh, that one will not come. I don't. I if you hear did 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 him. That is the sign of when central bank give you dollar in official rate. When you sell it to the black market, they send you the difference in your account because the money is too much. It's big money. So that is why you see, did 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 him. Thank you very much, Honorable Gudaji Kadori. Thank you very much, my brother. That Mr. President, all of the interventions that Mr. President has instituted or initiated were done principally because he wanted to assuage the plight of the Nigerian youth. And so we had... Uh, interventions like the Nigerian Youth Intervention Fund, 75 billion. We had the Entertainment Industry Fund, I think running into hundreds of billions also. We had the Renewable Energy Fund also. And we had several other funds which Mr. President authorized through the CBN. Ask yourself how well have these fared? Very poorly. So you see that 
Mr. President has always had a good intention towards the Nigerian youth. But the CBN governor deliberately, I will say it, because at this juncture it has become manifestly evident, scuttled most of these efforts. So that in the evenings of the administration, one could wake up and say, yes, I want to correct the issue of unemployment, I want to correct the issue of inflation, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, he wanted to parry both boats at the same time to wear the cap of CBN governor and be an aspirant uh, of a political party and hoping to eventually become presidential candidate. Now, ask yourself certain questions. Where would he have gotten the money to prosecute or initiate or fight for the presidential ticket of the APC? Is it not from, it does it not give us an inkling to the certainty in the fact that the allegations from Kazari will have a glimmer of truth? And even if there is a glimmer of truth, a faint sign of truth in that, we're talking of 89 trillion. 10% of that is already um, 8.9 trillion. That is more than a third of the 2023 uh, uh, budget of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, on this same matter, if there is an allegation as weighty as this, what stops you from going out, my hands are clean, to dispel any rumors, to say these allegations are false, appear before the National Assembly, appear before any other relevant body, and clear yourself. Present documents and proofs of where the whole of these monies went to. That is on the one hand. On the other hand, there are issues of terrorism financing. You know very clearly that if you starve these terrorists of funds, 